Hi right, guys, I'm Sir Lance. Uh, clunge. Clunge. Um, there you go. The clunge counter's back. <laughs> Just to let you know that we're still here with the quality. You know, don't be expecting anything less. You want to be aiming for the barrels that shoot you right. Um, I would suggest going up though, because yeah. these ones aren't really doing it. I'm not feeling it, <laughs> to be honest, sort of yeah. There you go, you right. want to go right, yeah, there yeah. you go. Or, yeah, there, that one. Oh, I'll God. go right again. No, go right. Wait, what's that? Something sort of top that's left. That's thorns, that's thorns. Oh, yeah. You can do it, just believe in yourself. Yep, go right, that one! Oh, yes! Number three. <laughs> we motherfucking got it. Yes. <laughs> oh my. That's... I've got I've got the sweetness and skills. <laughs> Just. <laughs> See, this is this is it. This is the tough, tough titties. <laughs> oh no. Now it's no longer incremental. It's uh, this much now it's blind. Yeah. Almost. Follow the bananas. But at the moment, it's all of it's all Zorlance's skills. Okay, we've made it halfway. This is good. Good progress. See, I can't believe people thought that we were going to fuck up on this. Yeah. We're doing really well. You know, I'm proud. I've got to concentrate. I'm not much in the way of commentary. No, I'll just... I'll keep it on with my constant stream of bollocks. Don't worry. Um, I was going to mention something, but I thought... You know when you have, like, a, a mental blockade when you think, no, that's too inane even for you? <laughs> yes. Like... <laughs> So sometimes I'm really grateful that people like didn't quite hear something I said. <laughs> I like say something and people go, "Pardon?" and I'll think, "Oh, this I'll like momentarily think this is a chance for you to like not say something fucking ridiculous." <laughs> and I'll say something not ridiculous and I'll be really grateful that I got the chance. There must to be do a it. secret there over to the left. Yeah. Fucking hell. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like sometimes I might say, Oh, you look like a shit or something. They go, sorry, I say, you look quite quite good. Like in my second attempt. I, I'm so grateful for when that happens. And um, it happened just then. I was about to say something and I thought, no, that's too inane even for you. <laughs> Do you want to say it anyway? No. <laughs> no. Like even to go back and mention it would just be so pathetic. Ooh, shit. Ooh, good word. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna have to carry on with the constant stream of bollocks while I concentrate on this. Whenever you're ready. I've got nothing, to be honest. <laughs> there we go. We've we've had our nostalgia trip and um, I'm I'm just empty. I'm running on empty, like a car on fumes. <laughs> <laughs> what a great analogy, Regal. Well done. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. I think uh, in each of the Donkey Kong Country games, um, the way in which you... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> the way in which the barrels work, like the timing of where, when you press the A button or whatever it is, and the time you um, shoot out is like slightly different in each one. And so you have to kind of like worry about it more. Right, I think in Donkey Kong Country 3, there's like a split second delay. Whereas in this there isn't, so having done like a full LP of Donkey Kong Country 3 is, and in this level in particular it's on my mind. That was really dull. That was, I was, yeah I wanted to cut you off, but I was like I'll let you go with this. But. Sorry, I just thought, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of related in, like to the game in a way, but it was also fucking dull. <laughs> I'm glad you know. I wish I could have stopped myself, but I thought, you know what, I'm fucking committed to this. To this bullshit about barrel shooting times. I've got nothing else to go on. Let's run with it. You can do it. Fucking hell. This level is boring. Yeah, it's, um, look at the parallax scrolling in the background, I guess. That's quite nice. That's a nice, nice. word. Parallax. Hmm. That's uh, part of my lexicon <laughs> for today. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's actually related to the new technology the SNES can do. Um, it's CG graphics, you see. Yeah, I watched that uh, that navigator thing. <laughs> okay, so now, there's a DK coin, but we completely missed. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go back and do it no. again. We're going to have to backtrack. That's going to be fucking fun. But now we got Kudgles. 
contest or cudgel. <laughs> it's spelt with K's. It's it's like clunge. Yeah, it's just like clunge. Mm. Oh shit! So here's a boss I've never fought before. <laughs> I think it's just a case of. Oh yeah, you have to jump when he lands. It's that kind of shockwave effect. How do I hit him? You um, wait until there's a, a barrel comes down. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. There you go, like that. Simples. <laughs> he says before getting killed. <laughs> oh, okay, no. that was great timing as well. Yeah. So yeah. As he lands, there's a little shock wave, which means you have to be jumping so that you don't get. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Why? ideally, that's what you what you want to happen. Why does he have nails in his club? Like that's one thing. Like, like I've seen in games and films and stuff. What is the the thing about putting nails into a a bat? Uh, clearly, just to make it more dangerous. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, that but, it, but it doesn't really. Because yeah. do the nails ever go through? They're, yeah. They're have you not have you not seen that scene in Tromeo and Juliet? Where well, it's not a very widely known film, to be honest. Tromeo and Juliet. Anyway, there's a no, also a, a better reference. Kill Bill, Volume One, where she picks up that um, where she's fighting the Japanese schoolgirl Gogo, -Go, I think. And the way she uh, the bride kills her is to. Um, to, like pick up a piece of wood that's got a nail in it and she just whacks it into the side of her face the nail goes in and kills her fuck <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it's used for because it's more lethal yeah but oh, you could have other things surely like, it just seems really arbitrary to put bash nails into a well you could have barbed wire just wrap it round <laughs> it's like, like a hell of a cell <laughs> imagine it back in the days when the WWE well, it was WWF back in the day. Back in the day with Hardcore Holly. Who remembers him, eh? <laughs> yeah. And Mankind. Mankind. Dude Love was my favourite. <laughs> Mick Foley uh, incarnation, yeah. And Cactus Jack. Uh, Cactus Jack would be the one who's mo most likely to have a, a baseball bat with barbed wire around it. <laughs> Those are so... Like, the potential for wrestling to be extremely violent was always very high. He keeps knocking my fucking barrel. <laughs> You could get really pissed. <laughs> Run away! Um, yeah, I just remember those old hardcore matches. They'd have like barbed wire, nails, sledgehammers. It's like if they actually used sledgehammers in the proper way that they could have used them. Oh my god! <laughs> you got shit at this. <laughs> I've like used to, up all my abilities. In like the to actually do like an overarm or swing whatever. down on someone's face, it would fucking crush their face. <laughs> Of course, they never did do that. Yeah, you're dead. Yep. <laughs> you're fucking shit. Gets killed within five seconds. This is a tough, tough boss. This is it's, a tough. It doesn't really seem that tough. I think it's a just... toothy. A what? A toothy. Toughy. But it's said in a different way. We just changed how it said it. <laughs> See, there was, a, there was a visual thing there where I just stared at Regal. Yeah, you know. miss out on these things. Maybe we should do one of those things. Remember when X the you won't remember this. When X Music did that LP of uh, Superman, and he decided to oh, set up yeah, a, a camera of himself playing it. They didn't that. Like, that was an experimental one, and good on him for trying something new. But you know, it wasn't really worth continuing on with. <laughs> the amount no. of effort to oh. sync it up. It was interesting. It was. It was an experiment. It was experimental. All right, I'm not having a go at him. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Sorry, I was just saying that we could set one up like that. But what, then they'd no, let's see what we look like. Ugh. Ugh. I can't imagine. No. It. Oh. <laughs> I just Come ran into him. On. <laughs> oh. You're letting the team down in this video. I'm letting it down to Chinatown. <laughs> Commentary's oh. letting us down as well. Fucking hell. Yeah, I haven't seen an extra music video in fucking ages. Um, I remember what I watched like his entire Banjo Kazooie LP, and then that was it. <laughs> so, that's all I watched. Hey, whenever he does something, it's always good. Like, it's always good. Basically, <laughs> I always enjoy it. I always love it. <laughs> God, what, I've got <laughs> got nothing else to say except I I enjoy the entertainment he provides me. What what new stuff has he put out? Um, he. I haven't caught up with... Oh, really? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you don't know who finished. <laughs> Fucking bastard. He did, a, he did an LP of the original Crash Bandicoot. I think I need to catch up from part 11. How many parts is it? 
I think 13, like there's only a couple oh, more. Okay. I thought you were going to say 30, I was like, yeah, you're a bit behind. Okay, that's it. Time right, now I've got to hit him, I've got to hit him. I've got to get rid of this fucking barrel. Alright, yeah, we'll leave it there. Okay, we can do it next time. We sure can! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>